We're now going to look at the hamstring muscles. This is a very common name that most people know. Your hamstrings run down the back of your thigh. There are two sets of muscles that attach to this sitting bone. The first, which runs out to the outside, so it's the lateral muscle, is called the biceps femoris. So remembering, it arises from the sitting bone, it runs down, the tendon starts here and the tendon wraps around the back of the knee and attaches into the bone on the outside of the lower leg, which is called your fibula. So this is a muscle that runs across two joints. That's running across the hip joint and this is running across the knee joint. It's called the biceps because that means two heads. So the first head is the main one attaching to the sitting bone. The second, which you can't see on this particular uh, drawing, is actually attaches to the long bone, the femur, and it joins in. It's called the biceps femoris, because femoris is of the femur. As you remember, there's a biceps in your arm. That has two heads, which also go up and attach around the shoulder. So that's the outer muscle. The inner part of the hamstrings is made up of two muscles and they have very long names. They both begin with semi, which means half. So you have a semi tendinosus and a semi membranosus. The semi tendinosus, well, the, both of them have very long tendons, so it means almost half the muscle is made up of tendon. And the semi tendinosus is the more superficial. The membranosus is tucked underneath it. They both act together. The tendons come down, they run around the inside of the knee and at the back, and then they sweep around and attach to the tibia. And all together, this structure here, which you can feel around the back and the inside of your leg, of your knee, is called the pes anserine. And this is quite an important stabilizer of the knee. So what these muscles do, they always or almost invariably act together and they do two things. They pull the leg towards us. So we're looking at the back of somebody's body here and they, if, they, if it contracts, it will extend the hip. So pull the leg towards us, the top of the leg, and it will flex the knee. So it will pull the bottom of the leg towards us. Therefore, what the way they work is as you walk as you walk as you extend your leg so you as you as you stepping forward and they will help push your body forward as during walking during running during jumping but they also bend the knee up and if you think of how as you finish your your step how you lift your leg up bend your knee to start moving it forward, that is a hamstring movement. And the way you injure your leg is to do exactly the opposite. So if you were to, uh, a classic picture, if you can get this in your mind, you can see someone jumping over hurdles. The front leg that jumps over the hurdle, that is stretching the hamstrings to their full extent. So you're flexing your hip, extending your knee, and that movement. So if you were to fall down, slip, and stretch your leg out in front of you, that is, uh, that will classically cause a hamstring injury. It may injure the tendons, but very, very often you will get trigger points in the muscles themselves. There are quite a lot of trigger points that occur in both of these muscles, and they can be neatly divided into those that occur on the inside of the leg and those that occur on the outside. So the ones that occur on the inside, which remember are into the semi-tendinosis, semi-membranosis, there's a, a bunch that run largely in the center of the muscle and one that runs lower down in the, in the thigh. And these will refer pain up into the lower part of the buttock, into the gluteal fold, which is the fold that joins your buttock to your leg. So that's where you feel your pain. 
just in this area here and then you may get some pain and it's diffuse pain running down the back of, of, your, of your thigh. So those are the, the inner triggers give you pain that largely focuses around your buttock and the gluteal fold and just you feel as a vague pain although sometimes instead of it being a deep achy pain you may sudden, sometimes get a very sharp stabby pain that actually draws you up short.